I'm sure glad that you're able to watch this video because you have an internet connection. But what if you didn't have an internet connection? What if a catastrophe happened and your internet was gone? Or what if you're one of the 2.4 billion people in this world that don't have access to the internet? What would you do? Well, in this box, I have everything I need to create my own internet. I can browse 7 million Wikipedia pages. I have videos on how to grow things, on how to generate power, on how to fix things. I'll have an internet that allows me to work and learn and do all sorts of cool things without requiring a connection to the internet as we know it. This is very cool. Now my name is Frank and on this channel we look at how we can use technology to learn and teach more effectively. And a lot of people in the world don't have access to the internet. So what can we do to bring the internet to them in a way that's portable, accessible and has a lot of power? Well, that's again where this box comes in. Let's take a look at what's inside and creating our own internet with the objects in this box. Now, the irony of the fact that this shoebox is by a company called Cloud is not lost on me. I'm not building a cloud here. I'm just going to build a simple internet that I can carry around. So what's in this box? You'd be surprised. I have this really old tablet, this old Samsung tablet, but that's going to be great for me to browse the internet. And then I'm going to have this Raspberry Pi 4, which I've connected to a power bank. So it's actually already running. So I've got this Raspberry Pi connected to a power bank. And then of course I've got some lemon drop candies because, you know, who wants to be without the internet if you don't have some candy to pass the time. So let's first start with the Raspberry Pi and the power bank. Of course I could plug the Raspberry Pi into a power source if it was available. And this is a battery powered bank, so it will eventually run out of power. The good news is that on this particular Raspberry Pi, I've downloaded a Kiwix server hotspot that has over 7 million Wikipedia pages. It also, because I downloaded a prepper guide, it has all sorts of articles on sustainability, survival, how to find power supplies, how to build shelters, how to do agriculture. So one of the first things I would do is figure out how I can charge this battery if I don't have access to power. And my thought is that what I'm going to do is get a bicycle generator and I'm going to charge people an hour on the bicycle in order for them to pedal so that they can use my internet. So I'm going to, be, I'm going to become a post-apocalyptic ISP. Now I've got my tablet. This is, just an, this is quite an old tablet, but it's sufficient for what I'm doing. This is actually going to be connected to this Raspberry Pi and give me an entire internet. You can buy the hotspot completely pre-configured if you go to the Kiwix website. You can get your hotspot and when you get the hotspot you can purchase it. It has the Raspberry Pi and whatever you'd like installed ready, ready to go. I've already had a Raspberry Pi so I purchased the Preppers package which contains the Wikipedia pages pages on agriculture, survival, uh, different agricultural skills and such, but there are different packages you can get. Just keep an eye on the size of the card that you need. In my case, I needed a 256 gig micro SD card. I had one of those as well. Now, I have a Raspberry Pi 4 that I had lying around, and we're going to go and choose a custom image after we've downloaded the image. So you will need the real internet today, but once you've done this, you'll never need it again and I will now load that into the micro SD card. I'll just clear off all the settings so that there's nothing there and that'll format the micro SD card. It'll go through and it'll create the package for me. So now, once that card is, is created, I just put it into my Raspberry Pi and I boot my Raspberry Pi. I don't connect it. I don't need a screen because all you would see is a terminal anyways. It basically just sits there as a hotspot that I can then connect wireless clients to. I can have up to 20 wireless devices connected to it. So this is great. You know, if I'm in, if I want to do a school, for example, so I'm, you know, in this video, I'm talking about a post-apocalyptic type of environment, but this could be a school or this could be on a ship, whatever the case may be. Now, when I connect up to the wireless network, I'll be brought to the Kiwix page, the hotspot page. And this is being run completely off the Raspberry Pi. 
This can be useful if maybe I'm out in the woods, like I said earlier, or in a place that doesn't have internet access, or if I'm sailing, whatever the case may be, this gives me the ability to have a lot of information and in my near and dear to my heart, it gives me the ability to teach people if we don't have a persistent connection to the internet. So this is the real value. I can basically put a schoolhouse in that box and I can use this for lesson planning and for teaching and training. Having your own internet that can be contained in a box is pretty cool in my opinion, especially if you want to use this for education. Now, I had a little bit of fun talking about a post-apocalyptic scenario. Let's hope that never happens, but there still are many people in this world that either have a highly censored internet or they don't have access to the internet on a consistent basis. But a lot of people do have mobile devices with a web browser. And as long as you have the ability to connect up wirelessly to a hotspot and you have the ability to open a web browser, this little Raspberry Pi solution can bring education to so many people around the world or just information to people that maybe want to be able to fix something or maybe watch videos or get information on how to do agricultural things or fix some sort of appliances they have. It's really amazing what fits on that WikiWix server. I highly recommend you check it out. You can see stuff on their website. They're a nonprofit organization, so they're not sponsoring this. Uh, but what they do is they provide something that can make a difference in the world. And I think that's worth making a video about. So let me know what you're doing in terms of providing resources when you don't have access to the internet, if you're ever in that situation. If you're watching this video, you do have access to the internet, at least today you do. But comment down below, let me know your thoughts on the Kiwix server. Is it something you could imagine playing around with? Maybe you have a Raspberry Pi and you wanna try this out for yourself super easy to do and maybe this is something that uh, you see as having a potential to help others so again comment down below if you found this video interesting of course a like is always very much appreciated and if you share with other colleagues that might have a need for something like this that let's spread the word thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video